<clears throat> world of YouTube brought you here with the last of Devil and Passway in the apartment. Now all these basement floor are all the same pattern. First apartment I got by myself when I was like, uh, what was I, like 23, 24 years old. Damn good times in this fucking place. Over in this corner here, I had my first drum set. My boy Chris Dutton, Eric Roy, and our other friends literally came over here. Chris Hill, Mike Gilmet, had that fucking jam session. Had amps set up in here and every had my drum set set up in this room. Over in the corner over there. <laughs> Used to have nails in front of the bass drum that I beat it into the floor. I think they might have fixed it, but I don't know if the nail holes are still here. The times I used to have in this place. But one time when I was in this room and we all got together, the people on the second floor literally had this freaking ceiling. I don't know floor, I don't know how they did it, but they were banging on the ceiling. All of us were going up like this, whoosh, whoosh, up and down. <laughs> and I was like, keep fucking playing. Oh, we were playing Slayer, Green Day. Oh, man, everything, even threw in a couple songs that just made up. This is also the apartment my, my wife first moved in with me here. I used to love as a kid, though, my brother used to live here when my nephews were born. And this was their place where they grew up. And I used to come up here and babysit all the time. Of course, to get my uh, money there. Mind you, to go do my drinking. <laughs> oh, yeah, 10, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, sit up here. And I used to sit on the couch up here and look out the damn window and just watch the traffic go by, you know. My nephew was a baby man, he used to feed him bottles and shit, you know, just sit here in the middle of the night getting up. Some nights, you know, he'd be up here just doing the old friggin' babysitting. Be getting up at 2, 3 in the morning, ah, screaming, yelling. Oh yeah, the times, the times, the times. The list goes on and on and on of all the stuff. He's downstairs on the first floor. I even made it to the second floor, and I moved from the third floor to the basement, me and my wife, and then we ended up moving out together after that and whatnot. Things are a little ugly, but we patched things up. You know, this is where I said I you know, right, conceived my first child, in the basement, mind you, and yeah, that was, uh, well, what can I say? Had to grow up, straighten up, and quit the old fucking drinking. You can see the fucking ceilings and the floors in this place are literally right through where you can see downstairs. <laughs> oh yeah, they let this place go, boy. This is a new shower area that they had put in. But you know how the things go. We used to have that old cast iron tub, the big huge feet, claw feet in here <laughs> but yep a lot of shit memories in this fucking place I remember me and my boy Mike Gilmet and Chris Hill were up here one night partying I threw the old camcorder on it sucks I lost that video but on the Jersey Turnpike mind you but the table was here the camera was set here and Jesus Christ we sh there was an hour or something missing so we left came back, I threw the camera back on, slapped it on the table. And I don't know what the hell happened after that, but it was just some crazy shit. Like we disappeared out of the film. <laughs> don't know if we went to the bar or went out and drive, or I don't know, some crazy shit. But damn, the memories. I'm gonna even be throwing up some, some old pics because over here with the, all the trees and old friend of the family, whatever, and uh, all the story in that house was two sisters. <laughs> when I first moved here and I met them, I think it was Jennifer and Holly, their names were. <laughs> oh, man. 
And I shouldn't have done what I did, but the memories just keep piling in my head now that I re- reconcile the past very badly rushing through my head. But literally, this girl, the youngest sister, was pissed off at her older sister. And she was coming to me for help, mind you. Oh, she keeps picking on me. She keeps doing this. She keeps pushing me around. She got us all right, and I got hugged. I said, slam your head back. And I hit her in the nose. And she'll leave her alone. When you know, she went off and fucking bang. I'm like, ah, fuck that older sister's nose was bleeding. She was screaming, ah, oh my God. The mother came out, what the hell happened? <laughs> She's screaming at the, I think she even said I told her to do it. <laughs> and they both blame me and I'm like, ah, you a little bastard, what the hell are you teaching my daughter? I'm like, well, she keeps picking on her. I said, no, oh my God, it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I mean, come on now, you gotta pick on a kid. Yeah, you know, all my life too, I came up with some game plans, so someone wants to learn about bullying and (laughs) getting rid of them all, yeah. But yeah, uh, man, the fucking memories. I had to show this place for the last time, just as I stood on the rooftop. Yep, this fucking place was just... Ah, man, too much to handle, too much to handle, too much to reminisce in the past. Oh, yeah, boy, oh, yeah, just enough to make you. But finally all said and done, I didn't surprise it. This place was only, I think, oh, no, this place was built, I believe my father said, in the early 1900s. And out on the porch here... A little history of these sheds out back. You can't really see them, but they got three sheds down the side of the, uh, over here. Yeah, you can see a little better there. That shed right there used to be a bathroom. <laughs> Mind you, in the hole you could shit in and it would go down into the ground underneath the house. <laughs> now, whether or not they buried that or moved or whatnot, but it's friggin' houses. And the people, unfortunately, that took over this place were scumbags and let the whole damn thing go. All they had to do was fix this porch out here, out here with the lead, and this place would have been still up and running to this day. Roof went, the ceilings leak, everything's falling and crumbling apart. And like I said, a paneling off the roof ripped off not too long ago, so... Oh, yeah, it's just a terrible loss. This place is freaking huge, man. You can't find these goddamn places no more like this. I mean, this place was pretty much made into a bedroom, but it used to be a living room, dining room, two bedroom, but everybody made them into bedrooms over here, and then the person that did have it, of course, put the wall here. This used to be all open, and when I, me and my wife lived up here, so... It was just some crazy, you know, you don't find this beautiful, you know, artwork of wood working no more anymore. So, I mean, this place was let down. And mind you, the people that own this place were literally, (laughs) I have them in videos. And uh, I'll just say this, they were close to being to a murderer than you could ever be close to and I met the people and they are some wacky wacky people and for them to own these buildings and me from renting from them it's like what the fuck did I really get myself into (laughs) but whatever the world's a fucking sick world and I'm a happy guy I guess but I just wanted to share that man I mean even on the front porch here my buddy came up Paul Clapper used to come up here a lot and Hell, man, I even tried doing a little six people. I'll buy your stuff. I go to five, six people two days later. Hell, I already bought some. I don't need it. Well, fuck you too, asshole. He came up here. I gave my boy a whole bag. Hell yeah. Oh, my man, Chris Kittlewack. We all used to hang in this place. And the first floor, too. My room downstairs full of posters. My room downstairs, this whole wall, every single wall here just covered. You, there was not a friggin' space on these walls that you couldn't see a poster on. 
of the 80s and I lost half of them on the fucking Jersey Turnpike. Ooh, piss me off. But oh yeah, oh yeah, the memories, the memories, the memories. I lived in every friggin' room in here too, except for the two front rooms, but... Oh, damn. Sad situation. Remember down on the first floor, I might have already said this story, but my father used to live in that first room. And we had, he had a gentleman stay with him, and the guy was kind of ripping him off for rent and stuff. He said to get him out of here, so he was trying to... He went in there and got some fat fucking woman in this room. Came out bare ass naked with the woman laughing. The guy's coming out, Arthur, Arthur, what's the matter? He comes out with a naked fat woman. I'm standing there in the doorway. I'm like, oh my God, I slammed the fucking door. He's over here, oh, 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 screaming. <laughs> oh, what a fucking riot, what a riot. Guy ended up moving the next week. <laughs> But he wasn't paying no rent, he wasn't leaving no f shit for my father. He was living for free, so he got him out, he got him out. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man, what the fuck, it's terrible. I'm gonna miss this fucking view right here, boy. Many, many nights of sitting here and looking out the window and just drinking a few beers. Motherfucking days. Just relaxing with my music. When the friends come over, it'll be even better. Even better. Other than that, I'm gonna get out of here and uh, before I start fucking tearing up. <laughs> Memories. A little bit of pictures I'll put in here. Oh, the door just closed on me. It don't want me to leave. But yep, this was one hell of a ride in this building, boy. Lots of shit happened here, and I'm proud to fucking been living here. It was a good place. I mean. Even though it wasn't a house, it was just fucking, it felt like suitable home. Even my wife says it. She misses the basement because it felt like home. For some reason, this building always felt it like a fucking cozy family place. And it's just sad to see it go down like this. So, I don't know. I would be here all day if I kept going on with memories, but I got the kids downstairs and I got to move some stuff for my old man, but one last look into this and we're going to see this on the other side. Damn. Can't take the fucking pain. I was trying to get back into this place before we went to this other house, but... The people in the bank said they're not renting out, so the company or whatever, so I was like, yeah, you're fucking lost assholes. I would have done some work around here. Shit. Come on. Whatever. The last stand, the last look. I hope all my buddies out there freaking get a memory jogged in their head, because I'm going to miss the times we had here, and there I go. <laughs> the allergies are kicking in. <sighs> Fucking man. Alright, until that next video, everybody please stay safe, take care. And cherish the place you're in now, because if you grew up there and you're going to end up losing it, that's going to suck. I feel for you. I feel for you. Out.